money on my mind. I got my G Shock watch. Plus I'm super fly. I'm rocking my G Shock. I'm rocking my G Shock. I'm rocking my. G -shock. I'm rocking my G -shock. What's up, YouTube? Coming back to another video. Bring you the uh, Mudman GW9300 today for review. This is a great model, has a lot of functions. Um, this one is specific in particular. It's a camel or desert camel version. GW9300DC, desert camel. Um, this one is a limited edition. It's uh, discontinued and it's hard to find. It retails for $350, but you actually can find it for more than that nowadays. It reads, they'll go for about $400. Um, probably could find it, for, probably find it used about $300. Um, but yeah, let's go walk you through this one. Uh, it's a beautiful design. It's got this camel design, the tan G Shock color there. Uh, mode adjust light, search button, compass, and therm thermostat. Um, function on the side there, twin sensor, and there's your compass button. Okay, here's a look at the carbon fiber band, and there's your camel metal clasp, metal band holder, twin sensor, very beautiful. Here's the back plate for you. Mud resistant, GW9300 DC, 3280 module. Now here's a fun fact, this is actually the fifth generation G-Shock um, Mudman. The original model, the DW8400, is this one. I'm missing the bezel, um, haven't changed the battery. I just have it as a collector's piece, but this is the first generation Mudman, the 8400, non-atomic. This was just a general watch. Didn't have any of the fa um, fancy functions like thermostat, barometer, none of that jazz. Um, very basic, plastic. I'm not even sure if it's resin band. Here's the back plate for you. Take a look at that. History in the making. After the 8400 came the G9000, which is this one here. Here's the G9000 version. G9000 3080, 3031 module. Show you how that looks. Very cool design. All these mudmans, you can tell they're encased in rubber to protect you from the elements. So they're a little bit hard to press. Had to really use some muscle to push the buttons. That's very standard. That's common with these watches um, with the, 80, with the uh, 9000 series. This one's a special edition, Indonesia. Cool little band, Formula Drift Indonesia version. Kind of a rare piece. Their standard one is just black. Um, comes in different colorways. Um, you got the Team Land Cruiser version, the red one. I mean, there's blue, um, the Stone Trooper white. I mean, there's a lot of colorways. After the 9000 came the GW9000, which is this one here. They call this the 5 Eye Monster. Multiband 5, hence the 5 Eye Monster. Um, came out with the first, the, the, the first Mudman with uh, Atomic Multiband. All right, cool design. Um, kind of followed the same look of the G9000, except they made it tough solar. The other one was not solar. And of course, atomic. Here's the back plate on this one. Very cool. GW, GW9000. Okay. And then after the GW9000 came the GW9010, which I don't have anymore. I think I sold that one. Uh, I'll show you guys a picture of how that looks. And then of course came our infamous GW9300, um, which is now the most recent. Some say that the uh, Mudmaster um, is also a generation of the Mudman, which in theory could be, but it's really not. It's just a different one. They don't call it Mudman. Those are all Mudman. This is all, these are Mudman. Now the Mudmaster is a whole different generation, a whole different watch itself. But some argue that that's the same kind of concept. Um, again, all encased in rubber to protect the buttons um, doesn't allow water mud and other items to, to enter the case and protects it from the elements all right guys thanks for watching hopefully you enjoyed this review it's a quick tutorial of the watch itself um, moon phase world time stopwatch timer alarm and back to your home time you have the digital compass here you'll see it there and activate and then you have the thermostat there so 
you can see it change. Let me show you there. You can see the digital compass work as you turn the watch. Okay, so that's your function there for, for the um, compass. All right, hopefully you enjoyed this review. Please like, please like, please like, subscribe, comment below. Appreciate you guys. I'll see you very soon. I'm out of here. Peace. Money on my mind, I got my G Shock watch. Plus, I'm super fly. I'm rocking my G Shock. I'm rocking my Super Shock. I'm rocking my G Shock.